Hey friends, this is the Z098 4K night vision camera. It can be used during the day or at night. In today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at all the features. We're gonna give it a demo and a quick review. Okay, so let's take a peek and check out what comes inside of the box. So we've got a really nice carrying case and a strap right off the bat. We also have some documentation here. Looks like some instruction manuals and a few other things here. We'll open up the case here and see what is included. As you can see, we've got the main night vision unit right here. And that is indeed really nice and beefy. We've got the main viewer out there. We've got a lens cap over here that is attached. On the other side, we have a nice zippered pouch. We can open up and check out a few of our other accessories. We've got an included 64 gigabit micro SD card to capture video. And inside our little pouch, we're gonna get our little charger. This is a USB-C charger as well as a lens cleaning cloth. Okay, let's give the night vision goggles a closer look here. So you can see we have a lot of buttons up on the top for easy management, switching between night vision and the daylight options. We have multiple lenses up here to choose from as well as our selector for near and far. So they kind of work like binoculars. Again, this is gonna be your main viewing port right here. And then this is where you are getting your specific image from. Now this does have a 5X digital zoom on it, but again, you're gonna be doing most of your micro adjustments using this just like binoculars here on the end. So over on the right-hand side, this is where we're gonna have our infrared light coming from. Over here, we're gonna have our UV cut filter, and then you can take this off, and again, it's gonna allow us to get a different style of image without that UV cut. Now this TL here stands for tactical light, and so if I push this little button, we can get a strobe effect. You can turn that on, and we have just a straight light. Once more, and it turns off. Now over here we have our main power button and when I push and hold this for a couple of seconds you can see the main viewer is going to light up and then obviously we're seeing my desk nice and up close that's why we're getting that yellow image. So we're going to have multiple different settings and different things that you can view straight into the viewport. We also have lights that light up with that power option but again these can be controlled actually using this button over here if you want to turn these off for a little more stealth. Going down over on the left-hand side, we've got our menu option. If I push this, you can see it goes into the different options that we have, all sorts of different things that we can scroll through and change. We can do video resolution, image resolution, white balance. And again, we can control the settings using these little down and up arrows over here. So I can scroll all the way down. You can see the date tag exposure, auto power off, video prompt. There's just all sorts of things to go through and look over here once you have this in your hands. You can adjust it specifically for your needs. We also have the OK button, which will select the various options to give you those additional settings within the menu. Finally, we have the IR button over here, and this is gonna allow us to toggle back and forth between day mode and infrared night mode. And that you can tell is up here, this little button you can see went from the sun to the little moon and again to that IR mode. Now we can power off here by pushing and holding this button for just a couple of seconds. And again, as you can see, the menu turns off. We also have the charging port that's over here on the left-hand side. Use the included USB-C plug to push in there and then into your wall outlet to charge. And then we have our micro USB card slot over here, as well as a reset button. Now on the bottom, you can see there's a couple of nice little things. It's got a, some feet where we can sit it up like on a deck or something like that and have a nice steady image. We also have our little camera adapter where we can stick it on like a tripod or something like that. Again, to get some really nice image stabilization. So looking out the back of my office window, you can see the mountains in the background. This is gonna be a really good test for this in the daylight. So we can go ahead and get our image stabilized onto those mountains. I'm gonna use my other hand to adjust our lens here. And let's see if we can get a nice clear shot. And that's actually looking really, really clear, really good. Probably a good solid seven, maybe even 10 miles over towards those mountains. And you can really make out some great detail, especially as we look a little closer here. Now we're looking closer to maybe a thousand feet or so, but again, the detail is really, really great on this. 
Now, if you want to capture images or video, we have to select which mode we want to be in. So with everything powered on, I can use this power button to cycle through those modes. Now watch up here, that 4K, that's gonna go into 48M. That indicates that we are in photo mode. One more time, you can see this is gonna be the playback area where we can select the different files we wanna play back. Again, we don't have a memory card in here at this time, which is why there are no files. One more push and we go back into that video mode. Now, once you're in the right mode, all you have to do is push the OK button and that will start recording or it will snap a photo. Now, to use the zoom feature, I had to figure this out. You actually have to push and hold the buttons here for that zoom effect. So let's see if I point at the mountains here. I'm gonna push and hold. As you can see, it kind of moves in there. And again, it zoomed in a little bit. It's not a super amazing feature. You can see we're on times five over there. Let's see if we can zoom back out here. Push and hold. There you go, you can see it kind of jumps back. So again, not what I would call a super fantastic zoom experience, but it does give you a little bit of extra boost to go forward and get maybe a little bit clear picture on things that are farther away. Okay, so we're in the backyard. You can see it's kind of low light mode now. Still some decent ambient light. We're looking down there at the wood pile. And as you can see through the night vision goggles that in night mode, again, you can see in color, it's definitely brighter. So again, this is in that kind of dusk, low light mode. Okay, so as you can see, it's fully dark out at this point. Let's go ahead and get these into the infrared mode and see what it looks like. I'll turn the porch light off here. Okay, now, as you can see over on the right-hand side of the screen, very lightly, just from some ambient light catching on the camera that I'm filming with here, you can see the patio set down there. But if you look through the viewfinder, you can see that we can see things really great. Now, as you can see on top of the camera here, we have the IR sensor and this comes actually through using this camera quite bright, but in real life, this is actually just gives off kind of a hint of red that you can see. So overall thoughts, I think it's a decent product. I was actually really impressed with the night vision. I really don't have anything that is able to pick up that IR experience and help you see really clearly in the dark. Now, again, I don't really need the daytime functions for this guy. I think my phone would do just fine. I'm a little bit concerned about the zoom in and zoom out features on this. Really was hoping for a better experience with being able to zoom in during the daylight hours. And again, use this maybe as an even better version of binoculars, but it really was kind of lacking in that area. Again, I think if somebody's looking to use these as a night, that's really what they are meant to be used for. As you can see, it's marketed as a night vision camera. So there you go, friends. That is the Z098 4K night vision camera. And it's got some cool features. A couple of things that are interesting. Who's this for? Well, I think we are going to be using this primarily at our cabin to view wildlife at night. We have a lot of bear, a lot of other different things that come through the area and being able to capture those kind of experiences, I think could be really, really cool. So if you're interested in grabbing this for yourself, you can find it right here on Amazon. We'll put some links in the description box below and then stay tuned. We actually do a ton of these different product review videos, tech tutorial videos to make your life experience just a little bit better. Thanks for watching.